Welcome viewers to Safi Next. In this video, I will talk about the expectation values of operators and states which are not the eigenfunction of the operators. Usually in almost in every undergraduate book, the expectation value of an operator on a system is measured in a state which is eigenfunction of the operator. However, here I would be dealing with a general scenario and would explain how to find the expectation value of an operator in a state which is not an eigenfunction of the operator. We know from our previous two videos on expectation values that the expectation value of an operator A can be written into the form of this equation where we have just said which the operator and the integrand on the right side of the integral between the, com wave, between the complex conjugate of wave function and the wave function itself. Now the questions are how would we evaluate this equation if psi is not an eigenfunction of operator A and what would be the possible expectation value of the operator? In order to answer these questions, let psi sub 1, psi sub 2 up to psi sub n be the eigenfunction of operator A and let lambda sub 1, lambda sub 2 into lambda sub n be the corresponding eigenvalues respectively. Then from the eigenvalue equation we can write A psi sub i equals lambda i psi sub i. Now with this information in hand, the function psi of equation 1 can be expressed as a linear combination of the eigenfunction of operator A. That is, we can express psi in the form of summation where i, a i times psi sub i, where the multiplicative parameters a i are called probability amplitudes and each could be a complex number. To observe their characteristics, let us first apply the normalization condition on the wave function psi. According to normalization condition, we can write psi steric psi integrated over the whole volume dv equals 1. Putting values from equation 3, equation 4 can be expressed in the form of this one equation. Note that I have used different indices in the two brackets inside the integrand on the right side in order to include all the possible products of psi steric and psi and similarly of a steric and a. Obviously, the summation can be taken out of the integral and the same is true for the probability amplitude and finally we can put the equation into this form where I have taken the probability amplitudes out of the integral and have taken only the product of the eigenfunction inside the integral over the volume V. Since the eigenfunction must obey orthonormality condition, therefore the integral can be written in the form of delta function and so I write the equation finally into the form summation over I, summation over J, A steric, A J, delta i j and implying the delta function would cancel one of the two summations in this case i am dropping the summation over j and the equation can be written into the form sum over i asterisk i into a i and that's definitely can be written as the modulus of a i square summed over i now substituting this value in equation 3 straight away dictates that the sum over the modulus square of probability amplitude equals 1. This means that the sum of the square of modulus of probability amplitudes obey the normalization condition. This confirms that the square modulus of probability amplitude gives the probability of the system to be in that particular eigenstate of an operator. Now let's go back to equation 1. By substituting the value from equation 3, we can write the expectation value in the form, in the form of this equation. Where again, I have used different indices for the two summation inside the integrand on the right side. 
And simplifying like before, we can put the equation finally into this form. And using the eigenvalue equation, a times psi j can be replaced with lambda j sine j like I have done in the next line of this equation. And since the eigenvalues are independent of position, therefore I can take them out of the integral and what left is again the orthonormality condition on the wave function which reduces the integrand to a delta function. Therefore, I can write it finally the equation in the form of delta function. Once again, the delta function will kill one of the two summations. And in this case, I drop the summation over j again and write the equation as summation over i lambda i times the modulus squares of the probability amplitude with subscript i. If we carefully look at equation 6 in recalling the approach of probability theory, it is in the form of average value of a random variable r. That is the expectation value of r equals ri times pi summed over i. In the light of equation 7, we conclude from equation 6 that the expectation value of an operator A in a state which is not the eigenfunction of the operator A is given by the weighted average of its eigenvalues.